science and technology. This is a pretty interesting topic. And in the recent time, I just read so many, in the recent few weeks, I just read so many different books from different kind of leaders from tech and, and science and just like all of these AI and, and all these interesting industries. And it, it, there, there are a few points that I'd like to perhaps mention in, in this specific the specific example. The first one is that okay, schools are kind of good. Like in terms of like we have many people nowadays who are just just expressing their thoughts about school, universities, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The first part that you need to understand about school is your context, where you're coming from. If you're in the U.S. and you have to pay 200 grand for a normal college education, I would definitely think that if I wouldn't just go ahead and try to learn anything, everything myself. Um, yeah, like it's crazy there. On the other hand, if you're in, in, in Europe or in, in a different country and you're able to study pretty much for free, like definitely I would take that take that take the chance every every single time. Like science and technology is very interesting in terms of how much it, it's actually able to how much positive impact it's actually able to create in terms of um like all the progress we've experienced as human beings in the last one hundred years. Like if you know the 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 type of a graph, or if you've ever seen the graph, how much progress we experience as human beings. In the last 10,000 years, the graph went always like this, and only in the last 100 or 200 years, we've actually like gone like this. So it's like, it doesn't really make any sense. We are in the exponential age, and this exponential age has been caused only by science and technology, because 200 years ago, we didn't have PCs, we didn't have microphones, we didn't have... Like the only things we essentially had was, I mean, we had some weapons, we were kind of advanced, but we didn't have majority of the things we treat as, as basic like normal things that human beings used to used to live nowadays it's just crazy to even think about that we have eliminated poverty which which was normal back then and all of this was caused by science and technology so that's the reason why why i think that this is such an interesting area to observe and why even think like increasing the quality of education is very important and just like for example eliminating all of the this different kind of bias in terms of just being super biased to towards non-education like that's that's been kind of sparked and that I've always been influenced by or in the past, which I really think that if I would just eliminate in the, this this bad influence from many different kind of weird people, it would be just very, very beneficial to my further process of of growth. And, and just even really thinking about the meaning of life. I was, like if you want to be person, like for example, for me, if I would get to the end of my life and I wouldn't have somehow contributed the positive well-being of other people or just a positive development of the world towards the uh, direction in which I really think that we are, we are bound to go or we should go, then I would really feel that my life was somehow wasted and I would never feel so great. So science and technology, it makes a big difference. And in terms of even satisfying your personal needs, as I also expressed in a previous video, like you can get... Like just living a basic life, I guess, like from the terms of what you can get, how you can feel is 80 or 90% of everything what you can experience. Just going to college. I mean, like now I'm just really being very honest. Um, just getting a, let's say, great job. I mean, like this is a, it's not play. It's from, from a certain point of view, like playing to lose. But at the same time, if you just compare your lifestyle, if you just go the traditional road and just become a valuable per human being for other people as well, you, you live life better than 95% of all the people out there. You can get the last 5% if you're just like really ridiculous. Maybe uh, I'm trying to be ridiculous in that way as well, as well. Just like really trying to max out everything and just trying to go for the remaining spec that's out there. But in terms of just your, you having a Toyota Camry the, let's say a three-year-old Toyota Camry versus you having a three-year-old uh, Lamborghini Huracan, like the amount of utility that you're going to be able to get from these two versions is very, very similar from a certain point of view. Like compare that to being stuck somewhere in Bangladesh where you're uh, fighting to survive and you have $1 to, to just buy some, some old bread that you're going to eat. Like, okay, that... And there are millions of people living on, on, in those conditions still in the world. And the amount of your, your utility that you will be able to get for spending extra two hundred or three hundred thousand dollars on actually buying a uh, Lambo versus Toyota Camry, versus like let's say if you, if all of this wealth was redistributed more equally in terms of just having extra let's say thousand people living on extra three thousand dollars living on $3,000 
or yeah, like let's say three three thousand dollars a year, three hundred people, let's say, yeah, three hundred three hundred times thousand, three hundred thousand. So let's say three hundred people living on extra thousand uh, dollars a month or a thousand dollars a year like that would just change their life so significantly like uncomparable like it's difference for them of being sleeping in the streets and having all these diseases and not having anything to to drink or, or not anything anything to eat versus actually them being able to have a decent lifestyle in terms of having maybe food shelter and like just all of these basic needs met and that's way bigger difference for them than actually for you it might be that you feel m m to, to live a more flashy life because you're actually driving a lambo which in the end isn't that comfortable at all maybe just different point of view and, and for me like i just really think that, that like just treating it from this perspective or actually just aiming for science and technology to move forward and just aligning everything with our efforts to actually make it as seamless as possible like that's the goal that's worth striving for and even in retrospect like i know like looking now in my life, I know that I probably won't be a significant human being. Great. Because no one is significant in retrospect. In 500 years, everyone will forget about you because they will be just minding their lives and the problems that they'll be facing back then or in the future. Like, let's say, okay, they'll be expanding into a new solar system or something. Great. Like, that will be a dear problem to solve. And they won't be thinking about you. So it's like, and do whatever the heck you want in your life. Like, I mean, like, for me, I'll be just very happy if I'll just be able to make at, at least one step or help, help the humanity at least with one thing in terms of maybe helping other people who will then help other people. And that's that's way more important for me than to just be that kind of weirdo that is driving here about in Lambos and trying to look flashy and just trying to impress other people by the material things that I don't even own but I take photos with. It's like, whatever the hell. I, I don't really care about that. Even the type of people that you attract when you just, just post those kind of photos and just try to flash, uh, it's like the wrong type of wrong type of people i would say is not that good in the end you just spend time with people who are just it's just in the end like just this is what matters the most just making progress and and yeah it's like in 20 years there will be other people who will be perhaps way smarter than i am uh well like the new generation the the people who are just being born right now and they'll be probably probably smarter than i am i'll be in, in 20 years great that's great. That's that's innovation. Like even Steve Jobs said it in his his speech on Stanford in 2009 or so, or 2000, yeah, 2009 or like in those years, that once you once you are the disruptor and then you get disrupted, like you finish college or if, for example you start your life you feel that everything is great you feel like the new age like the, the like you feel like the innovator from a certain point of view and then tw 10 20 30 years pass as nothing and once you you get you find yourself on the other hand on the other side of the spectrum where you're actually you're, you're the one being disrupted by the new age by the new and you don't really understand that like young guys who are doing or young entrepreneurs or whoever else like just they're doing things that you can't even comprehend because they have different they have been brought up in a different age. They have had time to master different types of skills, meta skills that you didn't really have time to master. And it's just about you to make the shot. So different point of view. And with that being said, I just really want, wanted to emphasize the importance of science and technology and why I think that it's very interesting, intriguing. And I would say like, it's very, very important for us to just focus on that in the long run, not just being super focused, hyper optimized about our all well-being because in the end that like okay what how much utility are you gonna get for to improve your life for actually having your life okay living a 95 percent life uh to improving it to 97 percent great you're gonna get two percent on the other hand if you're just gonna increase the life standards of a person who's currently at five percent that he doesn't have anything to eat that he doesn't have shelter he's living on one dollar a day and you improve it to, to to the base standard let's say that he's actually able to contribute to his he has a stable work he has a uh, normally normal like living etc etc and you're able to improve that to, a, to to that level that might be a significant improvement from him actually going from five percent to eighty percent even though he wouldn't be able to afford let's say going on vacation or something like that it would be still big big impro improvement for him because he would be wouldn't be afraid of actually getting food or just getting the basic needs satisfied or that, that's that's pretty simple so my two cents on that